Greetings or welcome back internet to uh, another segment of my Might and Magic power leveling tutorial. Um, this is the second segment of the Vellum Scroll qu quest. Um, we've already gotten the Vellum Scroll from the Sorpical Dungeon and we've delivered it to the wizard Agar in Erlequin and we uh, hoofed it back to Sorpical in order to proceed to Dusk to deliver it to his protege. And we're going to go ahead and utilize the leprechaun behind, uh, or in the in Sorpical Town, to send us to Town Four, which is Dusk, and it'll teleport us right in front of the inn here. And in order to uh, reach the wizard Agar, we need to go around the left side of the inn. going to go forward. Um, you need light past this point um, because the northern half of the town is cloaked in a darkness spell. So take a left, go forward, run. Let's try this one more time. Okay, go up, take a left, up, right, up, left, up, up, left, up, right, and then proceed to the end of the hall. And there is Telegram, and he rewards you uh, by bringing the scroll, 2,500 experience, and 1,500 gold. And he tells you the brothers you must find, Port Smith and Algri are combined, and that refers to the uh, mini quest. You get both the clues from the brothers, uh, Zom and Zam, in both of those towns, uh, towns two and three. And uh, they give you the clue to um, unlock the ruby whistle. And you go and get it, and you can proceed to the Minotaur's stronghold in uh, Sector B3, same as Portsmouth, and uh, you go there to get the gold key, which you need uh, in Castle Doom later to uh, uh, proceed uh, with completing the game. But now that we've delivered the scroll to Telegram, uh, before we head back to Sorpagol, we're going to pay a visit to uh, Castle Dragdoon, and I recommend that you bring um, at least uh, a fair amount of gold pieces with you. I brought 10,000 with me because I plan on using the uh, Fable Fountain of Dragadoon, which converts gold into experience, to uh, rapidly increase the uh, level of my sorcerer so I can gain access to the fly spell and I won't have to walk back and forth in order to uh, loop this quest over and over. But you just go in the castle and you go forward until you get this first message, decayed bones crunched beneath you. You take a left and you walk through this wall. And then you take another left and you walk down and follow the corridor, take a right, up, take a left, forward again, take a right, go up three squares, take a right, up a square, take a left, up two squares, take a left, up one square, take a left, and there is the Fountain of Dragdoon. So we'll go to our sources here, or our sorcerer, gather gold, and as you can see, uh, I've got 10,000 experience now, and I'm about to have 20,000, because she's got 11,000 gold with her. And it's an all or nothing deal, so if you're not willing to sacrifice all the gold that you have, then you shouldn't do this. As you can see, 21,000 experience, and everybody else still has about 10,000, but that should be enough to, plenty enough to get her up to level 5 so we can cast start casting the fly spell and that's actually one of the biggest uses for the fountain that there is is to upgrade your sorceress so you can get to the level 7 spells uh, quicker so we're gonna go ahead and head back to dusk here and you can't really get lost it's dusk is on a square of desert that you can't leave without going into the desert so it's almost impossible to get lost. It's only about a so an eight by or a six by eight area or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. But we'll go back into dusk here. And as soon as you enter the town, we're going to go to the dungeon. So we're going to take a left, go all the way down the hall, take a right. Stairs going down. Take them. We surely will. And you also will need the levitate spell. Um, what we're after is down here in the dust dungeon there is a teleporter that will take you directly to Sorpagal. You take a right as soon as you go down in the dungeon, go all the way to the end of the corridor, take a left, go up to this intersection, the levitation will save you from falling in the pit of spikes and getting poisoned, 
and no, we don't want to approach those monsters. Um, and you won't you won't get poisoned, you won't have your hit points halved, and you won't have to fight a bunch of snakes. But then you come up here after you take a ride at the last poisonous pit. To the next poison is spike pit. Levitation saves you again. Take another ride. And you go forward one square. If you go through that grate, you can walk through the wall afterwards and get the flame of agility, and then take a ride and walk through the wall, and then um, you'll be close to back to the stairs to the beginning of the dungeon. I don't recommend you do this until level 5 because at level 5 you get the lightning bolt spell and you can easily kill any monsters that are behind that grate. It's a fixed encounter. You go down to the end of the hall, take a right, go all the way forward to the blue and right portal, say yes, and bang, we are back in Sorpagol. And that completes that loop of the quest. So we'll go up here to Otto's training right quick. Yes, we require training. Let's go to our sorcerer first. Ah, oh, we can't train because we don't have any gold. Fortunately, all we have to do is go back to our leprechaun and go to Erlequin so we can steal some gold and make this level upping happen. So we'll come over here. Nowhere to run. Well, this ought to be interesting. Yes, get rid of that manic spell. Curse me at all? Yeah, I'm cursed one to attacks. Uh, the curse to attacks. Every time that one of the enemies hits me, it adds the number that you're cursed is how many hit points of damage it adds to their physical attacks. So right now, every time I'm hit, it adds one damage point because I'm cursed one to attacks. And that's what curse does. It's one of the things that Curse does. I'm not actually sure if it affects your ability to hit the enemy or not. I'm just not sure. Let's take him down, take him down. Access to the fly spell. And it doesn't look like anybody else can train past level 4 right now. But that is okay. And that concludes that segment. A um, little demonstration of the fly spell here. Uh, if you want to. Uh, at this point, you can go back to Sorpagol, get the Vellum Scroll again, and do this entire um, section over again. All you have to do is cast the Fly Spell 3-2. Sorpagol is located in Sector C2. You fly there. And voila! You're back at Sorpagol. And from Sorpagol, it's just a cinch just to pay the Leprechaun one gem to teleport you to any town you want. And that concludes this segment of the video. I'll see y'all next time.